out of one. So this is a little special video talking about the Comica smartphone video kit. CVM VM 10 K2, loads of numbers. But what you will actually get is obviously the box. I don't have it with me right now because it's completely useless. What we are actually interested in is this little kit. Now it's actually pretty cute because it actually comes with like a little uh, package thingy with Bobber to actually put your stuff. But whenever you actually get the package, it is going to come with this. You will have obviously the tripod. It's actually quite cute, and on the bottom, it also has a Rubber legs for when you actually put on the table, it doesn't move around on any surfaces. Now it's quite straightforward. You open the leg. It's actually hard doing this at one hand, but settles down like that. And then you also got obviously the thing that is actually going to hold your phone. Now you screw it on top. Now to actually screw it, I have a little uh, screw on the side right here. And what you're actually going to do is simply screw it till it's all the way down. Now obviously don't put too much pressure. You still want to be careful with this tripod. But what, once it's on, it's obviously going to be sturdy. Now, if you want to put your phone, so let's say here I have my iPhone 6S, my other phone. Now, obviously, it's too small to actually fit it. On top, there's a screw. So how it works is the screw is on the top and it goes all the way to the bottom. And it, like here's the screwing part. And then you got like a little uh, spring inside to actually keep it like together and like put a bit of pressure. But if you want to untie it, all you do is simply turn it it is actually going to take quite a while so let's just speed that up because uh, I don't want to waste your time all right I think that is actually sufficient let's try to see if it actually fits my iPhone success not yet just a little bit more should be sufficient now let's try to put my iPhone success there we go fits slide it in this is actually really hard doing this at one hand. Turn it around, screw it back down to actually put pressure on your phone and to keep it sturdy in there. Try to get it positionated since inside, as you can tell, it's like a little circle in. So I'm trying to get it around on my auto box case. Now you're probably asking yourself, how big can it actually hold a phone? I'm telling you, it can actually hold my iPhone XR. My iPhone XR is quite large. I think it's three. 0.4 inches if I am actually correct. All right, so we have it tied it down and once it's actually tied it down, it's actually quite solid. It doesn't move around, nothing at all. I can shake it. Everything is actually quite solid. Now, you got this, obviously, classical tripod, legs open. And then you got this. And the next extra part you actually have is on the top, you have a one quarter inch screw thing. So if you wanna add in, add in other stuff, you can do it just by simply screwing it there. Now, obviously, the part you've actually been waiting for is the mic. How cute is this? It's actually very small. If you want a size example, this is my hand. This is my thumb. So I guess you can look at your own hand and try to make a little uh, deduction about how big it is. But it's very small, and it's actually quite straightforward to put it on. Now, on the top, you have a little slot here, as you can see. Now, you take the mic, you simply slide it in, and then here you have a little uh, screw thing. Screw it down. Oh, shoot. Wind's catching onto the thing. <laughs> but screw it down. Obviously not too tight or else you might break it. And you don't need it that crazy tight to actually hold like a little tiny mic like this. And simple like that, pretty straightforward. Now you can do it the other way around. You can take this, flip it around and make it face it towards that way or that way, depending on what you're actually doing. Now, uh, you have two things that it actually comes with. This little cover over the mic. I'm actually not too sure what is the name of it. And you obviously have the classical dead cat. And I found out that was actually the name for this thing. I was uh, quite terrified. But what this is, is it actually stops the wind. So let's say if the wind's coming in, it's just going to hit the fur instead of actually the, act, like, the mic directly. Another thing you have in this is obviously the cable to actually plug into your phone. Now, one important thing, if you have an iPhone that actually doesn't have a headphone jack, you are going to need this adapter. Now, warning, this adapter obviously doesn't come with this comic code kit. You're, you're going to have to buy this little adapter separately. But this black cable, this one right there with the two uh, headphone jack in, you are going to plug the gray part into your phone. Now, since I have an iPhone XR, obviously there's no headphone jack, but on this one there is, so we can remove this. All right, we got that out of the way. This part goes into the phone and the other end, the black one goes onto obviously the mic because where else it's actually going to go. Now, let's do this right now. Basically how it's going to look, you're gonna have the beautiful sexy tripod, your phone, then the mic and this is the, little kit with everything now don't forget this uh 
lightning to headphone jack adapter. It doesn't come with it. Now, I think from, I think it only costs $10, I don't know. And my girlfriend actually gave this to me, so uh, thanks to her. But now that you know everything that actually comes with this little kit, it's time to test it. As you can hear, there is some wind, so we'll actually be able to test the dead cat. Now, obviously, the dead cat is not a crazy magical item that can block all the wind. You'll obviously hear a bit of wind if the wind is quite intense, but it should definitely reduce most of the wind. Hopefully, I've actually never tested this outside, but let's see the results. All right, everyone, so this is a review of the Comica mic kit facing the opposite direction of the wind. Now, we are facing the direction of the wind. This is a review of the Comica mic kit. Alright everyone, this is a review of the Comica mic kit facing the opposite direction of the wind. Now facing the direction of the wind, this is a review of the Comica mic kit. Alright everyone, so this is a review of the Comica mic kit facing the opposite direction of the wind. Now we are facing the direction of the wind, this is a review of the Comica mic kit. Here is my final opinion about this mic. First of all, with the dead cat on, when you actually talk, your voice is going to sound identical, but the wind is also going to be quite high, not necessarily crazy high. It does reduce it by a bit, but not crazy like we obviously all would wish. But with the foam cover, all I can say, it is completely terrible with the wind. Obviously, I was kind of expecting that since the mic is quite sensible. And if I'm correct, it does work quite far. I did test it. But with the foam, keep it indoors usage. Don't bring it outside because it's terrible. Now, compared to an iPhone mic, it's... It's actually quite close, but here's the thing. When the wind kicks in, your voice is kind of like gonna go down and the wind is going to stay like stronger and you're gonna be more quiet when you're talking versus with the dead cat on, it's like gonna stop the wind, but it's gonna keep your voice still high so you can still hear it. And with an application, you can obviously correct that quite easily, which is great. Now, do I recommend this mic? If it's not an emergency or if you're not doing like professional videos and etc., don't get a mic, it's it's not necessary. But if you are making vlogs every single week or other type of content that net like necessitates voice or sound, I would definitely recommend it for the price. It's fair, it's not overpriced, neither too low. It's just the perfect price for it. Now, the link is actually going to be down below if you'd like to buy one. Either way, let's end this video, everyone.